Welcome to this video in our Do It in DivePort series. DivePort is a web-based tool that Dimensional Insight developed to analyze data. It can be customized for any company, but right now I will introduce some market analysis which can be conducted using our standard report named the NABCA Average Price. This report uses example sales data from NABCA. These sales numbers are not real. They have been made up for demonstration purposes. This report can be used to see how your product compares to competitive products in terms of volume and price. What's special about our market comparison report is the ability to let the user define the market as they want. When I open the report, sales for all products populate this report. Let's say I represent Tequila El Tesoro de Don Felipe Añejo, and I want to see what the market share is for my tequila. Start out defining the industry with the quick views at the upper left. The beverage type, I could choose between spirits and wine. Spirit, since it's tequila. Class group, change from whiskey to tequila. Go. The report automatically updates to show all tequila sales from NAPCA states. The shelf dollar value column shows a shelf value of 36 million five hundred and forty six thousand five hundred and eighty six for all tequila sold. Sales for my tequila are nine thousand seven hundred and seventy four. Looking at the next column I can see that my sales represent less than one percent of dollar sales. The next two columns allow me to compare products by volume sale. The nine liter equivalent is shown because the case does not always have the same number of bottles or even the same size bottles. Total volume sales for tequila are 136,832 9-liter equivalents. My product volume sales are 27 9-liter equivalent bottles, which seems quite small. The next three columns relate to the average sales price per bottle. The average retail price is the price the bottle listed on the shelf, which does not include any discounts offered to the consumer. Average shelf price is what the consumer paid and includes discounts. The last column, Difference from Average Shelf, shows what the difference is between my product and the average price for all products. When I look at my product, I can see that the average retail price is $46.94. The average shelf price is $29.71. Apparently, my products have some big discounts when they go on sale, since the difference is $17.23. Still, my product sells for $7.45 more than the average price for two liters of tequila. The problem with this and many other market share reports is that it does not define the market for my product the way I want to define it. I don't want to compare my tequila to all tequilas. I want to target consumers who drink white tequila. So from the class pick list, I can select white and make all of the same comparisons with only white tequila. But really, my tequila is high-end. I want to know how my sales compare with other high-end tequilas. I can go through the product description pick list and hand-select which products my tequila is compared to. Now the market is defined the way I want it defined, with only high-end white tequilas. This is much more useful as I can compare my products to the products I am in direct competition with. The market size for high-end tequilas is much smaller, with total sales being 788,951. My tequila, El Tesoro, represents 3% of sales when compared to my direct competitors, more than the less than 1% when compared to all tequilas. I can also see that my bottles are selling for $9.98 below the average price for high-end tequilas. From here, I might look into which products are most successful. Herradura Silver has 38% market share and sells above the average price point. I would want to do more research on them to see what they are doing in order to become more successful. 